Look at that man getting after it. I gotta turn this off though. What are you doing? What are you doing? Spin it. Send the fucking belt. What are you getting ready to do? What did you just do? Uh, I swapped the cam. Yeah, for what? I took the nitrous cam out. And you put a fucking... F cam in. Yeah, boost cam. And... We are getting ready to start turbine with. Turbine? Turbine. Yeah, we're turbine it. We're going to put turbine in. <laughs> but no, uh... Just trying to get all this ready. Had to swap the cam out, and now I'm just setting the valves, which I always do it wrong, so it's probably gonna run like dog shit. Yeah. Well, it's got F cam in it, so yeah, of course it'll run like dog shit. Yeah, true. You want me to unbox your shit, or are you gonna unbox it? You can unbox it. No, you unbox it. it. I'll film you. I'm working. I still can't find that tripod. I can't say I've looked, but I can't say I found it either. I haven't heard anything about you looking for it. Yeah. So you ain't looked. No, I know that. Be dope if it was in here. I don't think so. Alright, so MJ is currently Finishing the cam swap over from a big nitrous cam to a uh, It ain't that big, it's out of the box. That doesn't mean it's that big to a uh, F cam, uh, which is a, if you don't know, it's a, it's a Ford uh, letter cam. It is a F, a lot of people say it's forced induction cam. Um, and sorry, I'm looking for my camera or my, my camera. I'm looking for my tripod still. Um, but, oh, you know what, MJ? I haven't checked in here. Still nope. I thought this was it. Thought that was it. Nope. So, MJ uh, swapping the cam over to a boost friendly cam. And uh, in this video, we're just going to kind of show you guys what we got and uh, kind of talk about how much this all cost MJ, how many hours I'm probably going to put into it, and uh, how badass the kit's going to be when it's done uh, over a kit you can buy, how much money you can save when you do it yourself. Granted, we both got a lot of time uh, in experience. If that makes any sense, uh, a lot of time and money and experience and uh, fabrication stuff that we're not going to include probably in the cost of the kit. But uh, you going to set all these wrong? Are we going to gonna set them right? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I'm going to unbox this shit. Set these in a little bit. Unbox it. No, you unbox it. I ain't got time for this shit. I ain't got time for nothing. I don't know what you got anyway. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. You but, told me to buy it. I did tell you to buy it, but I don't know what you bought. Um, so I guess to start the turbo kit out, uh, we're going to start with the hot side, talk about the turbo, and then we're, what we're going to do for the cold side. Um, so I guess since we're already up here for the hot side, what we're doing... For now, um, MJ is going to just have these, uh, what are these, GT40 or SVO aluminum heads, um, which are a good head uh, for, I mean, your budget 302 build. Yeah. I mean, I had these on my 351, car ran great. I started putting money into it, car runs like shit now. <laughs> so stay at this level, it's fun, um, but no. So this, what we're doing for now is we're we're, uh, we're flipping these shorties around and uh, 
we're just going to run these for now until we get a set of bigger heads that have a different uh, bolt pattern. We didn't feel like it was worth it to try to squeeze the pipe and then try to make a shorty set um, with kind of a shitty head design, really, uh, is what it is. Um, something with like trick flow high ports where you can get a bigger primary on it or what head do you think you're going to go to? I don't know, uh, some big... I'll probably go to AFRs. Some big AFRs where, you know, it'll have the dual, the big uh, header pattern so you'll be able to fit a big tube head on it, big tube header on it. Um, so for the hot side, and I'll go over this because I, I at least know what boxes <laughs> that is. Um, but we're just going to flip these shorties around and what we're going to do is where the two bolt flange is down there, uh, I'm just going to cut that off. And we're going to put like a three inch v-band hopefully it'll end up somewhere right in this area on each side and then we're just going to run a three inch uh hot side all the way around and we're just doing with that how much was that kit 160 bucks or 150 bucks the exhaust um I think it's $150 for this whole kit. Got my socks on today, guys. Um, it's all three inch stainless. And I've used this on, I don't know, four or five different cars, a few different turbo setups. And it all seems to work fine. I haven't had any issues with it. It welds good. A lot of people say that it won't weld good and stuff like that, but I haven't had any issues with that. Let me get this open for you guys. Razor blade's a little dull. So, in this kit you get two three inch uh four foot long pieces of straight two 45s two 90s and two 180s it's like 150 bucks you really can't go wrong with that um going to that it's got a a monkey fab um i think this is a half inch thick stainless flange and i really like this i use this on the truck <laughs> this is a t6 flange um, it comes with these two extra holes right here. So what we're going to do is end up making an extra mount off of the uh, tube front end. And we're going to be able to bolt this flange to the tube front end. That way it makes everything else a little bit easier to do. It'll probably be somewhat like here, probably. Because... MJ's got this big ass turbo and I don't know where else to put it so we're going to have to put it somewhere up in there. You done yet dude? Or am I going to have to keep talking? Yeah, one more. One more? Alright. What size turbo is this? Uh, 80 mil. 80 mil? <laughs> This is like an S480, right? Huh? No. No? This is not an S480. Is it a VS Racing S480? It is. So it's like an S480. But it's a VS Racing. It's not a Borg Warner. Um, did you get anything upgraded on this? You got the race housing, right? Uh, I got the race housing. Yeah, but that's like an upgrade. Yes. And then it's still just your standard S480. Otherwise, all the standard S480 specs. What is it, 1.32 AR? Or 1.23 yeah. AR? Um, 2A 5-inch uh, V-band outlet. And other than that, it's pretty much just your standard S480 with a race cover from VS Racing. The journal bearing turbo, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty badass. 
spins just like a normal journal bearing turbo nothing too fancy with the ball bearings but turbo will make an ass load of power make a bunch of good noises so that's always dope um uh -oh, drop the camera the uh wastegates are the one and only tile tile made in the usa but from ebay um i've used these on a few different setups haven't had any issues with them i mean it looks identical and uh let's see if i can cover up mj's address so ebay brand tile wastegates they were like 80 dollars a piece and uh like i said haven't had any issues with them um what's that the three and a half to three inch for the, the aluminum um, that'll be the wastegates. I guess since we're already kind of on the hot side, it's going to get a four inch, uh, exhaust, even though it has a five inch outlet, it is getting a four inch exhaust. You can order a special type of V band where it steps down to a four automatically. So what we're going to do with that, I know this is a lot of talking. I'm pretty much just laying this out for you guys. I want to post something and show you guys that I'm, I am doing stuff. I'm getting ready to do a lot of stuff on this but with that turbo being right here um, if we can we might try to run it back and under the car but if not we're thinking in this area right here and it'll come down and out the side somewhere around here that's only if we can't fit the four inch back down through there and if we can I think You'd want to do that? Yeah, this badass thing. God, that's a piece of fucking metal right there, isn't it? So this is steps from the five inch on the, the turbo to a four inch, and that'll go somewhere in this area. It'll either go, well, it'll go like this, and it'll either like 45 that way, or it's gonna 90 this way, and 45 down, and it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fabrication, but we don't know yet, and we can always change that too. It doesn't really matter. Making a downpipe is kind of pretty, pretty simple. Um, but that's all the same four inch. It's all the same four inch stainless, uh, eBay stainless. I use it on my car. Yeah. Use it on the truck, use it on the car. Had no issues with it. Um, so I think that's about it for the hot side and the down pipe. Uh, you gonna talk about the cold side? So, you know, the compressor side of the turbo, this is gonna get, this is three inch. This is gonna go right to a three and a half. We might have to cut this down a little bit so it's a little bit sooner of an angle. So I'm real happy actually. The first thing we're doing with this turbo is welding this thing on there. That's pretty exciting. Um, what is this? Uh, that's uh, feed and drain and then... Uh, oh, that's just turbo fittings. Yeah. And then um, for the actual cold side, like I was saying, this is all three and a half inch uh, cold side. Which is a little bit, I'm used to using three inch, so this is gonna be pretty cool. We were debating on three or four, but we kinda of thought four was overkill. And we couldn't find any three and a half, or four inch like pipe kits. But the biggest thing with the cold side is what NJ's about to open right now, which is a big box of styrofoam and bricks. Cause there ain't nothing in there. Cause they jabroni'd you, oh no, there it is. <laughs> So this is the coolest part, I think. That's a big, big son of a gun right there. So this is a CX Racing Core? Yep. Or is this a Vibrant? No, it's a CX Racing Core. CX Racing Core. 
Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, this is a 5 inch core, and I think it's 22 by 18 or something like that. Hold on, I gotta get a thumbnail pick. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, it's a 5 inch core. It's big. It's, it's massive. So, how heavy is that thing? Heavier than fuck? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Um, and uh, the last thing you guys kind of already saw doing one blow off valve. Or you got two? What? You got one blow off valve? Yep. You fucking loser. What a loser. No what a loser. Another tile blow off valve. But uh, again, this is bought from eBay. Um, and then that's all gonna go into this uh, Holly. What are these called? Velocity hats? Something like that? Uh, Carb hats? Yeah, basically. And with this, all we're gonna do is uh, put the IAT bung in here and then run whatever vacuum. You got a vibrant vacuum block. We're probably gonna put back here for all the vacuum fittings and all the fun plumbing bullshit you got to do with turbo stuff but it's really not that bad the rest of this is like fittings like we got a bunch of three inch uh our three and a half inch v aluminum v-bands a bunch of stainless three inch v-bands uh all the other shit that we need to put together mj was talking about the turbo feed and drain um but that's about it and all of this shit how much was all this shit do you think 2500 bucks? Yeah, it was, it was close to three grand. Yeah. Because I, I spent, a, I think, like 800 bucks on turbo. Yeah. And that was, like, the most expensive part. Right. Other My, than that, everything else was pretty cheap. Minus the turbo, it was 2000 yeah. 2200-ish, probably. Um, and that's what, that's everything all together. Um, so this is going to be a hell of a lot better than a turbo kit you can just buy off the shelf. That was our, that was our biggest thing. And that's what I also wanted to mention, uh, at the start of the video, you know, this custom kit's going to be a, a lot better than something you can probably just buy from somebody. Granted, yeah, there's people out there that there are good turbo kits, but I think it's this is going to, it's made for the car. And, you know, a kit like this would be probably a $5,000 kit in the store. Um, but then you just got to bolt it on. So, you know, you got to pick your pick your battles. And we like making shit. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully, this is already a 20-minute video. Yeah, this, this is our video of getting back into it. Yeah, so. this is going to be it. Um, hopefully, you guys... Keep watching this shit. It's about to get a lot of, a lot of fabrication here in the next couple weeks. Um, we're gonna try to do the hot side. Hopefully in the next few days, get all that done, and I'll, uh, I'll show you guys like I did the truck. Show you every step along the way. I'll do the hot side. One video I'll do, you know, the downpipe. Another one, and then after that it'll be the cold side, and then the intercooler. And uh, that's really about it. There's really only four big steps to all this. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this somewhat. We're just unboxing shit for a lot of you guys that do watch. Um, show you that we are doing some stuff. We're trying to. Trying. Um, so yeah, look forward to that in the next couple weeks. And uh, see you guys then.